What's up guys, this is Vinay and welcome to Set Up To Win, where we help get your life to that next level. If you've ever dreamed of starting your own business, or if you already have a business, you need to watch The Founder. This is one of the best movies I've ever watched about entrepreneurship. I rarely watch a movie more than once, but The Founder is an exception. And every time I watch it, it somehow gets better. The movie stars the legendary Michael Keaton as Ray Kroc, and it's the story of how Kroc, a middle-aged traveling milkshake machine salesman from Illinois, discovers a revolutionary restaurant concept developed by Dick and Mac McDonald out in San Bernardino, California. Kroc becomes obsessed with the concept and sets out to partner with the brothers to build a restaurant empire. He charges ahead and goes on to establish arguably the largest and most successful restaurant business in the world, McDonald's. One of the reasons I love The Founder is because it's not your typical lighthearted feel-good story. In fact, the movie is actually pretty dark and does a great job of portraying the harsh realities of entrepreneurship. But don't get me wrong, it also showcases the triumph and exhilaration you can only experience when you risk it all and forge ahead to a place nobody has ever gone before. Croc is a perfect example of the adventurous and entrepreneurial spirit that has made the United States one of the greatest economic powers in human history. Here are some valuable lessons the movie teaches that every entrepreneur can learn from. Number one, persistence. Over the past few decades, We've become accustomed to our society's greatest entrepreneurs just being geniuses who are destined for greatness from the beginning. But the thing that makes Ray Kroc so great is that he was just a normal guy. Kroc wasn't from a rich family. His father was a Czech immigrant who came to the United States with nothing. And he didn't have any sort of fancy education. He was not a brilliant student and he didn't even attend college. There was nothing remarkable about Ray Kroc. He was just a regular salesman. He was good enough of a salesman to provide for himself and his family, but he never really had a big breakthrough. In fact, most of his peers looked down on him and would laugh at what they thought were harebrained ideas. But he kept dreaming of the next big idea. In fact, Kroc was 51 years old at the time he discovered McDonald's. In that era, the life expectancy was a lot lower and most people were winding down their lives in their 50s. Meanwhile, Ray Kroc was full of ambition and vigor and chased the idea down with energy and excitement. He never quit chasing his dream. The only reason Kroc was able to succeed in the end was his undying persistence. There's a quote about persistence from former United States President Calvin Coolidge that weaves in and out of the movie. Persistence. Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent won't. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius won't. Unrewarded genius is practically a cliche. Number two, obsession. If you're gonna take an idea and turn it into a business, you require a good amount of passion for the idea. Starting a business is an uphill battle. The world currently exists without your business. So for you to carve out a space for your business to exist, it requires a ton of groundwork. And that's just for a regular business. But if you're gonna take that business and build an international empire, passion is simply not enough you need to be absolutely obsessed just to even have a chance. There are no exceptions to this. Any great entrepreneur who has built their business from just a concept into a serious force in the world has had to dedicate all their energy for decades to make this happen. They had to live and breathe the business. They needed to be borderline maniacal. Kroc is no exception. From the moment he learned about McDonald's and their speedy system, he was obsessed and could think of nothing else. He did whatever he could to make the business succeed. Number three, nimbleness. If you're trying to grow your business, you can't afford to simply sit back and relax, especially if you're building an empire like Ray Kroc did. There's a saying in business, 
Innovate or die. You need to constantly adapt to the ever-changing world, and you need to always be on the offensive, looking for any edge you can get. As McDonald's was beginning to spread across the US, Kroc started to realize that the original agreement he made with franchisees, which paid only a small percent of net income to the top, was not a profitable route for the company. Kroc recruited the help of Harry Sonneborn to pivot and turn McDonald's from a hamburger business into a real estate business. Making this switch boosted cash flow, gave McDonald's more control over the entire process, and positioned the company for faster and more sustainable expansion. If Kroc was a stubborn man and didn't listen to Sonneborn, the history of McDonald's would undoubtedly be far less impressive. And as McDonald's was expanding, the refrigeration costs for the ice cream used in their famous milkshakes were getting out of control. Kroc received the idea from one of his franchisees to use a new to the market powder mixed with water to make their milkshakes. He vetted the idea, realized there would be no drop off in milkshake quality, and quickly implemented the change to this powder across all franchises. Again, Kroc remained open-minded and was quick to adapt when the situation called for it. Number four, ruthlessness. Don't be fooled by the carefully crafted public relations campaigns top businessmen around the world employ to portray themselves in a favorable light, as if they got to the top of the food chain by being Mr. Nice Guy. The reality is that any empire builder in history, whether it be in business or otherwise, was ferocious. They would pour boiling oil on their competition if they could. They were willing to do anything they could to win. The McDonald's brothers were honest, innovative, and hardworking guys. There was no doubt they had an immense passion for their business. And they took a lot of pride in operating their business with both efficiency and ethics. But that could only take them so far. It was Kroc who possessed the vision, drive, and killer instinct required to build the McDonald's empire. You have to believe that it'll work, no matter what. Business is not for the faint of heart. Ray Kroc developed these traits through years of hustling and grinding as a salesman for various products. Once he did come across that earth-shattering idea, he was equal to the challenge of taking that idea and building an empire. Kroc is one of the greatest businessmen in American history. His legacy resonates around the globe every single day. By the time of Kroc's death in 1984, McDonald's had 7,500 restaurants across the world with $8 billion in sales. McDonald's now has around 40,000 restaurants, is in more than 100 countries, and has around $22 billion in sales. So if you haven't already, go check out The Founder. Please comment below with any thoughts you have about The Founder. And if you like this video, please like, share, and of course subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.